Email query coming in now. Uh, Raghu says that he was allotted a property in 2011 that is yet to be registered. He's not yet taken possession. The last installment was paid in 2014. Now he wants to know if he'll get capital gains exemption if he sells the property now. Hmm. He's not yet got possession, Samir. Correct. So uh, uh, normally, uh, capital gains tax exemption is available if it is long term and not short term. And in his case, I'm assuming that uh, it's a property uh, kind of uh, for quite some period or year, more than three years. So if it is more than three years, it will be long term capital gains, in which case uh, one has to see the date of agreement. So obviously in his query, I'm not sure where, whether he's saying the agreement is not registered, but whether the agreement is uh, signed or not. Is no, not very I'll clear. just run, run you through it again. He says that he was allotted a property in 2011. Correct. The property is not registered. He has not yet taken possession. Last installment was paid in 2014. Correct. So I'm mean, assuming that if the last installment was paid in 2014, that means the construction is uh, complete, more yeah. or less. Yeah. So I don't know if the OC etc. has been given. Yeah. But for for determining long term capital gains or whether what is the period since which is holding the property, mm. which is is a, a hidden question is to know when the agreement was signed. So you take the date of agreement for determining the three year period, whether you have crossed three year period or you have not. Now he's saying he has not registered the property. Uh, he's also saying that there is an allotment. So there is always a letter of allotment, which is not an agreement. And he's saying he has paid installment, which is fine. There could be as per letter of allotment, he would have paid an installment. But assuming that he has signed an agreement but not registered, probably that seems to be the scenario, uh, then that date of agreement could still be considered uh, uh, for calculating three year period. And assuming that he signed agreement in 2011, then he obviously has crossed three years uh, threshold, in which case it could be treated as long term and he should be eligible. But someone could potentially question that he signed agreement in 2011. He has till thus far not registered it and he has not yet even taken the possession either. Mm. Mm. So what is the rationale uh, behind uh, just signing the agreement and not registering it? Did that agreement ever existed? So some uh, documentation and some rationale would have to be substantiated to put his claim for long term capital gains. In fact, you know, Raghu, what you also need to know is unless and until you register that agreement, uh, the title has not technically passed into your hands. Uh, registering the agreement is proof that you own the title to that property. And that is, uh, you know, that is basic. Uh, if anybody were to be buying property from you, for instance, if I were to buy that property from you, the first thing I would ask you for is a registered agreement because that is the only way that you can transfer the title of property uh, in my name or in the buyer's name which is why the first thing you should probably do if you're planning to sell that property is go and register the agreement uh, we are assuming here that you've already signed the agreement if not please get uh, sign an agreement register that agreement and then try to sell the property that will actually uh, solve a lot of problems for you and will also make it easier for you to calculate capital gains tax. As to answering your question, you will need to calculate capital gains tax from the date uh, on which you signed the agreement. The allotment letter, do remember, is not, uh, is not an agreement. You need to have a separate agreement that you made with the developer. You need to sign that agreement and that is the date from which you will calculate uh, capital gains tax. You can watch live TV on our website mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash magicbricksnow. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at magicbricksnow. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash magicbricksnow.